She misses you. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think you'd still be here. Catching up with paperwork. My youngest has been ill. She's better now. I just popped up to see Tina. She seems fine too. <clears throat> she seems to be coming to terms with everything. <clears throat> How's everything at Barfield? Oh, completely out of control. I made a very big fool of myself tonight. Right in front of the operationals director. I'm sorry. He's very nice about us, actually. There's been a lot of resentment about my appointment. Well, that was expected, wasn't it? Oh. Since my divorce, you know, my job is <laughs> everything to me. Barfield was the ultimate prize. It isn't a prize, Helen. It's a tough and thankless job. I could have pre-warned you. But you wouldn't have listened. I didn't think it would be quite so, um, lonely. Well, it is. So use me, Helen. Talk to me. I've lost my confidence. I don't think I can finish what I started. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry I didn't uh, mean to do this. I just got nobody else to talk to. You know, when I was a kid, I always used to talk to my dad. He'd be somewhere on the farm. He'd give me a really big hug and he'd say, come on, let's spit it out. He was a really, um, big man. I mean, um, he's a heart. I wanted John to be like my dad, but he wasn't. <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you this crap. You're not going to quit, are you? I feel like it. Michael Winchford didn't commit suicide, he was murdered. But you know, I look at his case histories, I read what he actually did. And the men are right, it was a disgusting piece of humanity and I think he got everything he deserved and why should I bother? If you believe there's been any injustice, any cover-up at Barfield Prison, it's your job to prove it. You be angry and get to the truth. We have trouble seeing this battle over. Do you know why they gave me Barfield? I think when the prison is refurbished, the category will possibly be changed, which would mean you are not of high enough rank and... I'd be replaced. It's just supposition. <laughs> I may be wrong, but it's going to cost millions to put that prison back in order. Oh, bastards. And Marshall, my bloody deputy, do you think he knows? I think it's common knowledge, Helen. That's why I turned it down. So I'm just a caretaker. Well, I'm a hell of a lot more than that. And I shall prove it. I'm going to see this thing through and then just let them try and shift me.
is the big riot. You, back to your cell. What are you doing? Nothing. Tell every man I want every cell back in order by the time I do my morning rounds. Yes, ma'am. Lock up! Lock up! Lock up! Mr. Morgan. Thanks for calling me. Why did you? This isn't Tails out of school, right? I don't think the cons should have been allowed such privileges. They could lock us out, they could do whatever they want in there. You were right to withdraw cell keys, that's all. And that's why you tipped me off. Ma'am, talk to Vernon Black. I already have. He's an arsonist. He's also a junkie, and with nothing on the wing, you'll be needing a fix. He might just talk to you. About what? Michael Winchwood. Give me a shock. I was just checking Winchwood's belongings. His parents want them. Did you want me? Officer Duggan said you wanted to see Vernon Black. He's in metal work. He's got the shakes. You won't get any sense out of him. On the night of the riot, Vernon, you told me you were on the VP wing, and when the fire started, you were locked in your cell. Yeah. You are serving a prison sentence for arson, aren't you? Yeah. Did you begin one of the fires the night Winchwood was killed? Officer Duggan, would you wait over there? What's the matter with you, Vernon? Are you sick? Are you running a temperature? What's the matter with you, Vernon? I don't know anything. But I might. I want to go back closer to where my mum can visit me. It'd help me to remember. Don't play games with me, Vernon. I am not here to make deals with you. When was your last visit? It's been over a month. So you lied to me. You told me you were on the VP wing because you owed money, which you were able to pay back after your last visit. Now, I am asking you again, on the night of the fire, were you locked in your cell? On the night Winchwood died, did you see anything? Did you hear anything? Take him back to his cell. He shouldn't be in metalwork in his condition.